Hello, my name is Olisa. I want to welcome you to another episode of The Truth with Olisa. Today, we have a special one. I know, I know, I say that all the time, but today, really, really, today, I truly mean it, okay? We're coming to you from Toy, a toy lounge located number 1C, Polo Club Road, right above traffic in Ikoi. Come and check it out. It's a great place. But today, we're making history because this man has been a hard man to get. We have the Malian music crew in the building! Boy. And the president himself, Naira Mali, in the building. Good, Good to okay. finally meet you, my nice brother. Nice to meet you, my G. All right, nice one. Okay, we got here Mobad, all right, Zinoliski, and C Black. These are the first three artists on the Malian music label, and Naira Mali is here to explain why he chose these three gentlemen, okay? Mobad, yes, sir, Zinoliski, and C Black. So, why then? Firstly, to be honest, they are, I actually believe they're super talented, obviously. For me to even try and invest or reach out to them, I believe they're actually super talented and they are talented. See, Black, I made a song with him before. Ogo Logo, you know? Yeah. He, 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 that hit the street hard because he's, I already know him, he's got lots of land by, you know? But how did you guys meet in the first place? Um, we met through that song. He's from Lagos Island. Um, I have a lot of people from Lagos Island, you know, like, they already been telling me about him. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just kind of, I was interested in his music, you know, because okay. he's actually got Lamba, you know. Lamba, and so you guys hit it off. Yeah, I wanted people to hear him out. So I made a song with him, okay. Ogo Logo. Um, the song went viral, you know. Then um, I just had to reach out to him again when I was ready to sign talented music. Okay. So I reached out to him and he was on it, so. So how about Mobad? Mobad is just another guy. I've, I've basically always seen myself in him. And most songs he dropped is always rapping something to do with Naira Mali, you understand? So I like I don't see it. So you're a big Mali fan, is that what it is? Yeah, sure, I'm a Mali. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's true, I'm a Malian. All right, what about the man with the best name? Zinoliski. 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 He's talented. He sings and rap like it was just so weird to me. So I'm thinking, whoa, I need the word to hear this guy. Okay. You know, I need them to hear him. He's actually one talented guy. And he's got that face of a model, you know. Like, yeah, I'm no, thinking no, maybe no. When, I, when I start my clothing line, I will make a model for me as well. So I have oh, you got a clothing line coming? Yeah. So I have Ooh. an artist and a model at the same oh, time. Okay. You know? So that's an exclusive now we got here. The clothing line is coming. What about no, no females? Mm, they're coming soon. We have this another one of us, Fabian Blue. Okay. But where is Fabian right now, actually? Is NYC or something like that? Yeah. So this is a family right now? Yeah, family. Okay. So what's the plan now? We're in 2020. The year is going strong. Are we going to see music coming out shortly? Oh, we have lots of music. We have, we have the best music, man. Like, Mobad has got a bangers. Zinoliski you know, has got bangers. C Black has got bangers. I'm in the middle of like... Yesterday I was talking to Zinoliski you know, actually of what song it needs to drop next. And we're trying to hear every song is going. They're hard. Just, I'm just confused. Like, what would I drop? Oh my God! Like, they're hard. So, are you are you featuring on everyone's track? Are you getting getting on different different? Uh, no, we've had our songs. No, they're, they're dropping singles next. Okay. Yes. Are you not on them? No. The the first single they dropped when there was sign on that when the music I was on the song. It was a okay. very big song. The song would have been a big song without me on it, anyways. Yeah. But it was privileged they had me on it. So. It was okay. like, and All I've right. got a lot of songs coming out now. So you got your own crew now, like uh, DMW, so it's a Malian music crew, you know, you, you're moving things. But let's talk about you now. I mean, what, what are you, where you are right now? Because it, it seems like you've, uh, you've, you've gone quiet for a bit, for a minute. Ah, uh, I can't I see, I see what you do on social media. I see that. You're not uh, quiet in that. It's just like, do you know what it is? Uh, I can drop, like, I can drop songs now, do you understand? I don't really have to drop songs now to still be, you understand? Okay. It's the president, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bang, is, I can't go so, quiet. The president of Nigeria or of Malian music, which one is it? The president of the president, the president of the world, the world okay. boss. For those who don't know how you got started, just give us a little brief history of uh, Naira Mali to where you are now. Um, you want to start with Aziz Fashola? Yes, you can start with that. Uh -huh. Give a brief history about myself. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna introduce myself. I don't really like introduction, but I'm gonna introduce myself anyway. You already know, so boy Naira Mali, presidential is plenty open. But basically, 
How did I get into the music scene, yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm sure I explained this to you today, yesterday, right? Zeno. Yeah, I just, I just made my first money. Not my first money, my first big money. Was it, what were you doing? Legal, illegal? What were you doing? Making money. <laughs> <laughs> no, we gotta ask that question now. You gotta ask, you gotta okay. ask. I was making money. Okay. This is in, the, in England, right? In England. Okay. What were you doing making money? How did you make the money? Uh, I was picking up money, man. It was that easy, man. What, just from the streets? I was breaking it down. I, was if, I lived in packs. London. I didn't see money on the road when I was living there. I was bringing down packs, you know. I was doing my thing, you know. I was making money. Okay. The boy got to make money. So you got your first money, with then what did happen? My first big money. Okay. How much are we talking about? I'm um, talking like 20 and 50k. Okay, that's you, uh, pounds sterling, yeah, man? Thousand so, pounds, yeah. So you went straight into the, the studio my, and started making music or what? I plan to, I didn't even mean to go into the studio, I was. My plan was people always freestyling around me and I believed I was so talented. So what I wanted to do is just invest in them. Ah, so not even yourself? Yeah. So eventually went to the studio, we had so much time. Um, we made lots of, they made lots of songs, you know? Okay. But there was too much time in our hands, so you understand? I made just one song. And um, as a joke, by the time we left the studio, imagine we made like 10 songs. It was my songs, everybody was singing. The song I made, everyone was singing, so I was just baffled, you know? So you were surprised by that? Yeah, they keep forcing me to send them the song, send me the song, send me the song. I'm thinking, whoa, what's going on? And um, eventually, one day we were chilling. Everyone already know the lyrics around me, you know? One day we were chilling. There was one of our friends with camera. Like, we're like, yo, shoot the video. He said, you can't shoot video with this camera. Like, yo, you can, just shoot, don't worry. Okay. We shot the video chilling on plan. Dropped it, it was on like four million views in three weeks, you know? And then, basically, that's how I got into music. I can't stop, you know? Okay, fantastic. Now, let's talk about what you were doing in England. You, you, you mentioned some time ago that you used to get into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble were you getting into? I don't know, trouble being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? Okay. Yeah. So what brought you back to Nigeria? Uh, I came to shoot a music video. It's a goal. Mm -hmm. I shot a video and I went back, yeah. Okay. And the second time... That was about, that was about three, four, three years, four years ago? Yeah, I'm not good at time, yeah. but that time. Yeah. And the next time I came, I was just coming for like three weeks. Mm -hmm. But that's when that situation happened. Yeah. Now, situation is a, is a very small way of describing it. I mean, you ended up being locked up, so that's not a situation, that's a, that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Problem, yeah. the situation is minor. So let's talk about that, let's talk about also the car matter as well. You seem to find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time, or with the wrong people. It's just lifestyle, you know, anything life, so, anything life for you. What happened with the, with the car? What car? The car that you're supposed to have stolen. Come on. <laughs> I'll buy you and everyone. Did you, did you steal the car or not? Obviously. No, come on. Did you steal the car? Yes, I know. Oh, it's silly. You didn't steal it. It's, it's just silly, obviously. It's silly. It's just silly. But obviously, the news. But why do you get? Why? You know, I'm, I've never been accused of stealing the car. So why you? No, they didn't accuse me. If you read the story, uh -huh. the headline must say something uh -huh. about theft. But if you actually read the story, so but why? Why didn't, they, didn't they say? Oh, uh, Femi stole the car. Like, no, why, they why didn't you? accuse me. They didn't say Nagamali stole the car. They said Nagamali entourage or something. Okay. So if you read the story, so somebody in your entourage stole the car or something. Yeah, that's what they say in the okay. story. Okay. Like the car that was falling behind. What about the credit card matter? Uh, um, are you involved in? There uh, was numbers. There was numbers on my laptop. You know. Okay. You know how Nigeria go. You know how it is. No, there are no numbers on my laptop. There's numbers in my, you don't have numbers. The only numbers in my laptop are phone numbers and people, you know, but they're not, no, no, no bank numbers. You wouldn't know if it's, you wouldn't, they, don't, they didn't tell you mine was bank numbers. Okay, what they numbers? They said it's bank numbers, but you don't know what numbers, they're just, just numbers so on my laptop. So what happened, you borrowed someone your laptop, you, you know, lend, you know, someone borrowed your laptop and said, okay. They found numbers on my laptop. Okay. Is that your defense? No, that's not my defense, that's what they found on my laptop. I hope you have a better defense than that. What did they find on my laptop, letters? Uh huh. Is it letters? I don't know. It's okay. You just told me credit card. You don't know what file in my laptop. So what was your laptop? You just told me credit card. I don't know. So you're telling me something you don't know? Okay, I don't know. Uh, okay. So what was your laptop? I just told you numbers, Brad. Wait, okay, what numbers? Were phone numbers? House numbers? Numbers, just numbers. Like. All right, it seems like Naira is not going to tell us the full story of what's happened. There's no full story right. to tell. The five numbers of my laptop. I'll tell you the story. Okay, let, let's talk about. You, you have very, very strange tweets uh, on uh, on social media. Uh, yeah, sometimes they're very sublime and very, very intellectual. The other times they're just sexual. 
So what is it? I mean, is it that you're like a contradiction or it burns your mood? And you seem to have some fixation with oral sex. Like getting my dick sucked. Well, yes. Lifestyle, man. You get me? I mean, I'm well. I'm. See my tweets. Yeah, I'm on that. I'm over 18, like I said. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm allowed to just, like, I just say what I want. It's my truth. Like, you know, okay. I say my mind, you know. Okay. I want to get my dick sucked. I want to get my dick sucked. I'm over 18. Like, you know, like, you know? I can't get my dick sucked. Mm -hmm. I do get my dick okay. sucked. Do you take yourself seriously? Um, because you've created a whole massive buzz, a real a massive movement. But when you're in your, you know, you, your moments when you're alone, do you say, okay, you know what? And how did I ever get to here? You know, people taking me seriously, for real? Do you take yourself seriously? Hmm, I don't understand that question. Do I take myself seriously? Are you seriously? surprised by the success you've had so far? I'm not surprised, because I'm sure when I was making music, I wanted to be successful, so okay. I thank God for okay. the success I had. So now, but, but do you take the whole, I mean, this whole Malian movement, it's, it's, it's like a, 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 a movement that's caught on, you think it's gonna last? Or is it something that you think, okay, let me ride it while it's hot? Marlins, we're here forever, you already know. Marlins here forever. Marlins is the new, like, this Nigeria is even changing to Marlins nations. Okay. No, we already have Mali in Africa, so we have to change something else, man. So, you know, this is Marlins, we're here forever, you think it's... All right, what about your private life? Are you, are you guys all single? Bachelors? Yeah? Yeah. None of you are married? Yeah. So what about you, now? How many wives you got? Me. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the wives, then we'll move to the mistresses and concubines and girlfriends and whatnot. Yeah, I have four beautiful kids at the moment. If I was going to say wife, four. You have four kids oh. from the same lady? Um, no. Okay. I understand. How many baby mamas you got? I have two. Two baby mamas. So two kids from two baby mamas. Okay. So that's it? Nothing else? No? Do you live with them or do they all stay with you or are they in England? They're in England. Okay. All right. But you're from a, England, you know. So are you in a relationship with, with them properly, or is it that you're, you're living separate lives or what? I'm in a relationship. With them? I'm in a relationship. With who? I'm in a relationship with God damn one to you, I'm like. <laughs> so he's got it. So now, let's talk about music now. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, music coming out from the Mali Music Crew for the, this year. Uh, what else do we expect from you guys? You mentioned the merchandise. That's what we're good at, man. We're good at music, man. Okay. That's one thing we're good at, you know. We have bangers. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. We have bangers, like, like smiling thing. That in general, you just need to understand. Nobody dies down. You can't die down. Only if you don't have, if you don't well, have good music. Good music will always speak for themselves. That's where I'm coming from. You get? Okay. Right. So what happens if someone said, okay, the kind of music you're making now, it gets tired. It gets too repetitive. What? What? Is Hoz that's going to say that? No yeah, but what, what happens if, if suddenly overnight you're not hot? What do you do then? I will warm myself. I will microwave. Because it's, you're, in, you're in a pop environment mm -hmm. and popular culture moves very quickly. Okay. So you might be hot today, but by, by this time next year, they'll be like, oh, remember Naira Mali? Uh, I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Mm -hmm. I'm here to stay, man. You're here to stay. Nah, so you, you, you're going to evolve and... and, and come out with bigger things and better things. Obviously, because you get me. Bigger and better things, you know? So, uh, do you have a, you didn't answer the question about the girlfriend. Do you have a girlfriend now? Or is somebody you're seeing? Are you in a relationship with someone? Yeah, he's to me, fam. Hmm? He's haunting me, you know. God damn. So, do you have a girlfriend? Can you ask them about the girlfriend? <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? No. You're a good looking kid. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Women coming on to you? Yeah. They are, Abby? Yeah. Yeah? And more because of you're hanging out in Naira, Abby? <sighs> Naira like a babe magnet, have you? Yeah, but I've been having girls, girls since. Okay. What do you do with them? No, 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 no. It's not that I have them to myself, yeah. Okay. But I've been seeing them, like, they all want to come around me. Okay. Because of you or because of Naira Mali? Because of him, man. Because of you, okay. <laughs> so we're just getting it right. What about you, C Black? You look like you've been around a lot of women. Ah, C Black. I don't know, bro. Ah. Black is dead, 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 dead. I don't know if you're dead, dead. Boba, you're not saying anything now. Like. You're keeping quiet now. Yo, I have girls, sure. You have girls? Ah, Even in London. What? Even in London, I get girls. You got girls everywhere. Even in London, you know what Okay, all right. Yeah, so what, what's, your, what's your take on the music scene in Nigeria? Are you feeling it? Are you enjoying it? Who are you, who are you liking? 
you can be, you can obviously see what I'm liking in the music industry. Yeah. But you know what is everybody's doing good to be honest, you know. Are you looking at doing some collaboration with people who are not necessarily uh, playing the kind of music you're playing? Stepping out of your comfort zone. Like you. I don't know. Who who, who would you like to work with? I can anybody. Yeah? Is there anybody you, you think, okay, maybe before you blew up, you admired them, so okay, I like this person, and maybe one day I could get in the studio with them? Um, yes, obviously. When I was going, when I was making music? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Like who? Like, um, that say names? Yeah, please say names. Because uh, they might reach out to you and say, okay, you know what? I, work I with wanted them. to get in the studio with. Yeah. When I was going up. Mm -hmm. Or even now. Oh, no, I'll definitely get in the studio Kadibi. Okay. That baby. Nigerians? They're not Nigerians. Some Nigerians? Um, yeah, that will happen. And some Nigerians, yeah, everyone, anyone, like I said. Okay. Anyone, you know, yeah. All right. I'm not fussy. No? The music just got to be good, you know. music got to be good. How does it work for you? What's your, your creative process? What, what do you start with? I mean, do you have a production team that come up with beats for you? Do you write your own stuff? How does it work? Because um, you seem to be singing whatever comes into your head. Exactly, you got me. When I, get, when I hear the bit from singing out for this, I hear the bit. I just talk. I don't even sing. I just talk, mm -hmm. you know? So you get me. Okay. So. Is there any day you don't smoke weed? Yes. Is that Sunday? Every day. No, I'm asking, is there any day you don't smoke weed? And I, I said, I don't smoke weed every day. I don't smoke weed. Weed? I don't. I don't. Weed? At all? No. no, I mean, like, I haven't smoked weed today. It's still early. Okay. Do you smoke weed? No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> so what do you smoke then? Loud. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. And what does it do for you? Tell me what it does for you. Uh, what does what do for me? Loud? Yeah. What does it do for you? Ah, oh, fuck. It gets me high, obviously. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So when you're high, what, 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 what happens then? Um, I get... What does what happen? I get high. No, I don't know, because I don't get high, so I don't know. When I'm high, mm -hmm. what happens is that I get high. So is it a means to an end? So let's 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 examine that high. What do you do with the high? Do you get in the studio? Do you have sex? What do you do? I get in the studio, I have mm -hmm. sex, I go to interviews. You go to interviews? Yes. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Malian Music Crew, we're looking forward to it. All right, C Black, anything you want to say to fans out there looking forward to your music? <clears throat> Just uh, stay muted, yeah. Maria Music, watch out. We're coming out strong, you know. Love you, your fans. Nice one. You know this key? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to tell the fans, the young females looking for you? <laughs> you you'd be nice to the girls because they're the ones, they're, they're the ones going to stream your music. They're going to download your stuff and stream it. Okay? Uh -huh, exactly, yeah. I am. But I have, I have male fans too, yeah. You have male fans too, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. Yeah, so go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Say what you got to say, my man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I've got big things coming, like, my tracks, like, here to stay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Mobad, you? Sure, sure. Hello. I had a lot of projects coming to you, like, earlier this year, I've dropped a single, and I have singles coming, then I can plan an EP, maybe ending up here. Okay. All right, nice one. So, we're looking forward to it. The President, we're going to leave the last word to the El Presidente of Maya Music. Yeah, you're, you're good? You're happy? The future's bright? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Come for the rest of you. Jack, I'm going to go to Where's Naramali gonna be in five years' time? Fucking in the fucking. Oh, fam. Do you not hear the word president? I'm gonna be a president in five years, fam. Okay. Of Nigeria, right? Oh, no. Okay, all right. We'll leave it at that. Uh, if you're gonna vote for Naramali, let us know. Uh, he'll be campaigning. What party no, are you gonna be? Honestly. Yeah? Honestly, in five years. Mm -hmm. He's behind the corner. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be here. I'm gonna shock everybody that I don't okay. understand. People that think you're just a. Uh, 
a flash okay. in the pan or just a phase? No, no, I haven't even started making music. I just talk on the mic. Okay. When so I there's a lot of music to come. I haven't even started making music. All I've been doing is talking, okay. having conversation in the booth. Okay. So when I start actually making music, well, I hear, oh yeah, enjoy it. All right. I want to say thanks to the Malia Music crew for coming through. Look out for the music as well. Uh, Nara has uh, been very as open as he can be, uh, without uh, giving too much away. And uh, we'll be watching your social media tweets to see when you are high, and when. <laughs> <laughs> when you are having uh, oral sex or when you're in the studio. And um, we we'll look forward to that. All right, make sure you tune in next time. Another episode of Truth with Elisa. Uh, shout out to the people that toy for letting us be here. Nice Lounge, number one C. Yes, sir, Polo Club Road, right above traffic in Ikoi. Do check it out. My name Music. All right, we gotta go.